Hey everybody, welcome to this video in our graphing and reporting series. So far we have talked about graphing in the context of the reports page in Nagios XI. It turns out that there are a number of places in the Nagios XI interface where you can do graphing with the performance data that XI gathers. Let's take a look at where you can find that. All right, so all of the graphing that we're going to find from this point on is going to be here in the home screen, which is where I am. And on the left side, let's first take a look at service detail and host detail. These are going to show very similar things. So host detail, you can pick a host and when you do the performance graph of the host, you are going to get networking information uh, like the RTA, the round trip average for packets. That's what that graph is going to show you. But when uh, we dig a little deeper into the services on a device like this switch that's got a lot of ports, we can click here inside it and we'll get the port one bandwidth graph, probably much like you were expecting there. Okay, the next spot that we can find some graphing information is gonna be here on the metrics link. And here you're gonna see there's a summary uh, there are some very interesting graphs here on the, uh, the metrics tab and then gauges, which are always cool. And with everything, you know, you can add these to a dashboard. There's a lot of different ways you can change this information up here, just like you could on the reports page, but here you're in the metrics link. And here in performance graphs, what you're going to be able to get is all of the performance data for any host that you would select. So, you know, we might select this switch and we update it and we are going to get first the networking information but and the ping, but then for every port, for every service that is monitored and generating performance data, you're going to get a chance to take a look at all of that information. We can uh, run it this way, we can look at this workstation, we update, and we're going to start out with uh, networking information, but we're also going to get CPU usage, physical memory usage, virtual memory usage, so any metric that we are monitoring on that machine, we can use the performance graphs link, and that will show us all of the information for any one particular host. Okay, well we did save the best for last, so the Graph Explorer is one of the coolest features that we can take a look at. You know, the early parts of this, top alert producers that you've seen in a couple other things, the host health, service health. The really interesting parts here are the scalable performance graph, the time stacked performance graph, and the multi stacked performance graph. On the scalable performance graph, and I've got a switch in, we're looking at port one bandwidth, and our time period is seven days. Here's what we can do. We can hover over this and we can select, we can zoom in, we can toggle one metric in, we can toggle another metric off. That is scalable performance graph, which is basically looks a lot like the other things that we can find in host detail and service detail, but it gives us some extra flexibility. The time stack performance graph is really pretty cool. So now we're still looking at the same switch, same port one bandwidth. Now what we can toggle off is the last day, or we can take off here, so we can look at three days ago, we can add these back in, and we can compare, and we can see how those things compare over time through different time periods by stacking the different time periods in different colors. The multi-stacked performance graph is really where it's at. Let's slow down and take a solid look at this. Okay, now in the multi-stacked performance graph, Here's what we can do. So you can see we've got two metrics we're measuring here, port one bandwidth in and port one bandwidth out. We can then uh, keep going with this switch and we can say add port five bandwidth in and we'll add that to the graph. And now we're comparing another thing. We can do port five bandwidth out and add that to the graph and then we can zoom in and we can do some comparisons. Here's what's really, really cool though. We can now take this and we could compare it to the CPU usage on a workstation. So now 
what do we see? Now, these may or may not be related, but what's great about this is you can use this graph to find things that are related that you wouldn't have thought about. And you can compare, say, uh, CPU usage and memory usage. There's a lot of things you can do. You can compare any service to any service. D doesn't matter what the scale is. Doesn't matter what the units are. We can do some comparisons. This is super handy for finding insights that you maybe wouldn't have thought you had. So that wraps up this section of the graphing and reporting series. We've got more videos coming your way. Stay tuned.